hi guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to look at the construction of the southern coastal highway the highway is going to run from Harborview to Port Antonio and this is the part of the highway being built in Harborview now this part of the highway is going to be four lanes it's going to use the existing road that we're on which is two lanes and it's going to be turned into four lanes so you can see the construction going on on the left and the right because that's where the road is going to be widened now as we go further down the road the highway will no longer run along this road it will take a new a new road will be built over the hill and it will continue along that way some parts of the highway will intersect with the existing road but for the most part it's going to be a new a new road built at this part there wasn't any space to build a new road completely because on the left you have residential areas on the right you have the Caribbean Sea so it was easier to just widen this road to four lanes so this is the construction of the Southern Coastal Highway in the Harborview area Now this road is going to be 110 kilometers long it's going to run from Harborview in St. Andrew that's where we started the video all the way to Portland so this highway is going to go through the parishes of St. Andrew, St. Thomas and Portland and where this highway intersects when this highway reaches Port Antonio that's where it ends it's going to merge with a northern coastal highway and the Northern Coastal Highway will run from Port Antonio, uh, well it's there already, it runs from Port Antonio to Nigre. So you can drive through this entire section of the island, you can drive from St. Andrew or from Kingston all the way to Nigre on a highway. So this is an excellent project, it was well needed. The, road, the roads on this part of the country are terrible, terrible I would say, safe to say this, this side of the island has the worst roads in Jamaica. Okay, there you can see on the right, that's where the highway is going to be, the four lanes. So this entire area is part of the construction of the highway. So this highway was well needed and it has brought so much change to St. Thomas. Uh, it's going to bring even more change you have housing developments that housing developments that are being done in st thomas because this highway is being built you have the morant bay center that's being built in morant bay which is the capital of st thomas and there is so much demand for space at the morant bay urban center that the project had to be extended the building they needed more square feet because there's so much demand for for the space over there and it's all because of this highway before this highway St. Thomas was the forgotten parish little to no investment per, it was probably the least the parish persons in Jamaica visited the least but all that is changing because of this highway and we really have to give the government credit for building this highway now a project of this size you don't have to ask who is building it it's china harbor engineering company without i mean they are the ones who built most of the highways in jamaica and it's it's um they weren't the ones who built the first highway that was highway 2000 that was built by a french company but after the French company built the highway, China Harbor Engineering Company came in and said, we will build phase two of the Highway 2000 project. That's the road from, French company built the highway from Kingston to Maypen. 
and China Harbor Engineering Company, after seeing that how successful that project was, came in and said, we'll build a highway from Kingston to Ocho Rios. And they did it, and they've been doing every major road construction project in Jamaica since. So they're the ones that are building this highway. So this highway is being built in sections. So you have, it's going to be built in phases. And we really have to give the government or government's credit for identifying the use, the need for these highways. And we said the highway, the Northern Coastal Highway, runs to Port Antonio. But you're going to have a highway that runs from, from Port Antonio to Negril. And you're going to have another highway that runs from Negril all the way back to Man Mandeville and connects back to Highway 2000. So the government has plans to connect the entire island with highways. So the government has a plan or a vision for major highway facilities to run, a lot, to run along the coast around the entire island. So this is a southern coastal highway which is running on the south coast or basically the coast from Kingston all the way back to, which is the south coast and a part of the east coast, all the way back to Port Antonio. And you can see the highway behind these homes on the right is the Caribbean Sea. So this entire road that we're driving on is going to be four lanes and this will be as we said earlier, the highway runs along the existing road or the part of the existing road because this entire road will be renovated into four lanes. All right, guys, thanks for taking the tour with us. This is an update of the project, the Southern Coastal Highway project. And this is a stretch of the highway from St. Andrew to Bull Bay. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Remember to leave your comments in the section below. Have a good day.